hey everybody, come join me for a hike. We're going out there. This is a park that at one point in time was a triple C camp, but also it's old ground. 1800s, 1700s, maybe even tickling into the late 1600s. So we're gonna go out exploring, see what we find. Enjoy the day, so stay tuned. I think this is gonna be sketchy today. Well, hey everyone, we are at what at one point in time was a Triple C camp. The Triple C ran from 1933 to 1942. If I fall down, it's strictly for entertainment value, but at least we got it on tape. Anyways, this was Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. It was to help, well, America during the Great Depression. They built camps like this in these remote locations and the whole idea was to rebuild the infrastructure of the country as well as replenish the resources that we had basically just tore through during the industrial era. And that's what we're out looking for today. I can tell you I've done some exploring back here and down by the river where we just were was an old road, Colonial Road. And up there, same thing. I've been to a farm up there and done some looking around. But the thing is, this property goes on forever that way. So we're going to go exploring, see if we can find any of the old signs from the colonial days, 1800s, and then obviously from the Triple C era. So up. video does not do justice of how steep this is and somewhat slick this time of the year it's useless for snowshoes cleats just got to be careful and dig in gives you an idea of the grade so as usual we're looking for the activity at the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill there is a trail down there that follows that riverbed but I'm gonna save that for another day, especially since it's only March, there's still lots of ice. So, you know, the climb the slick hill. So what I wanna do is I wanna get out of the camp area, get out into the woods, look for the signs. My interest will be colonial stuff and triple C stuff. Let's see if we can find some signatures laid upon the land so I do believe right over here in this area yep there's the signs right there see that one of the barracks buildings was right here so getting all grown over now These places were big. There was probably hundreds of young men stationed here. They made $1 a day, 30 bucks a month, and 25 of it had to go back to the family. That was part of the program. They would be given food, shelter, clothing, a few bucks themselves, but the whole thing was to rebuild the infrastructure. I mean, the depression must have been just absolutely terrible. That's somewhere in the long lines of six hundred dollars a month nowadays so doesn't sound like all that much but when it was your only option it was a good option all right i'm gonna keep heading that way see if we can't find this road so i'm not taking any of the trails i'm doing the usual bushwhacking approach I like to beeline things, but my eye is spotting something right over there where that brook is popping out. Well, it's a stone bridge. It looks old. Big old flat stones. So we definitely want to go see what's that way. 
you know, I love constantly searching and re-exploring the same locations because I want every bit of information. I want to know as much as I can, but it is pretty awesome when you go to a new place. Everything is fresh. Well, this has definitely been backfilled. You can clearly see that. And I'm not gonna be able to catch it on film because I'm using a wide angle today, but there is a wall going straight down that hill. Let's see what else we can find. I've gone on through for quite a ways. My guess is that was actually their dump, the Triple C camp near my house. Same thing right up behind where the barracks were. There is a clearly dug and filled pit. But I'm getting somewhere because there's a big stone wall up there, so. We're tickling the old ground. I'm still going up. Well, my bushwhacking has taken me to a beaten trail. Damn, well, do I follow the trail or do I keep going up? Yeah, you know me. We're going up. We're not taking the trail. Because then you don't see things like that. Field stones. Colonial art. Actually, lots of them. Yeah, it's probably the tail end of a field right here. Well, there we go. Old wash bucket. And if you get up and just look around, that's clean. That is clean, flat ground. And that's a nice lift. Let's go see if there's a cellar hole. Sure is. It's not that old though. A lot of granite, there's concrete, there's actually plumbing fixtures. It could have been old, I should say. It was probably occupied very late. What a mess, but cool. All right, over there is what I was aiming for. Well, outside of the base camp area, up here is where you can see a lot of signs of Triple C changing the land. They logged it. They took out a lot of materials to fix bridges, roads, and whatnot. So here's the question again. I'm at a fork in the road. Left stays level, right goes up. Yep. Moving up like George and Wheezy. So you can tell that this had been deforested cut for materials and a lot of these pines were replants and these roads were laid out so there'd be a nice beautiful park for people to come and enjoy like this but one thing that they did back then was if this was an old road and they fixed it they pulled out all the stones that lined it for materials to fix other roads it's like that just near my house. You can't even tell it was an old road until you get a mile and a half on the other side and it picks back up. So it makes it difficult at times to spot the old signs unless we run across an old wall cutting through the landscape. So that's the main road I've been following and I just can't anymore. I gotta go back into the woods. There's a little bit more up to go over here. It's the way I've always been. I've got to see what's on top. Nothingnessness. Good ground though. Oh. No, you know what's at the top? Sunshine. And that feels good right now. Yes. This is why I bushwhack. Look at split granite. It's a nice piece. There's actually a little pit here. And uh, obviously I would not have found this if I just kept following the established trail and or road. So as you guys know, I started down at the river 
I've just continued to keep going up and I'm starting to come back down over this side and I'm just looking at the growth in there it definitely looks like people have been through there at some point and same thing here looks like an old trail but we're going down I don't know how far I'm gonna go because that means I gotta go back all the way up and over again this is some interesting land and I'm curious and want to know from you guys do you have a triple C camp near where you live have you gone exploring and what have you found that's interesting just out walking around and looking a lot of these triple C camps that were turned into parks have been closed down they've been let go and some are still beautiful and kept up this one is still active and very nice but it's massive I could probably hike out here for weeks and not hit the majority of the property so we keep following this trail uh, it's not one of the established trails because there's no blazes on the trees but you can see it beaten into the ground there we go I just crossed over a wall goes that way I wish you guys could see how intensely my eyeballs are scanning walking around out here back and forth back and forth I just looked over and saw this little spot I thought it was a little imprint or depression one thing's for certain I got to keep track of the time I've gone one hour out uh, with no proper course other than up and a bit of zigzagging and always whenever I leave a place I never go back the way I came in to cover more ground and just to see if I can get back so we're gonna go a bit further that way that road I must have crossed it four times it must be switching back and forth oh yeah there's proof of it right there I'm coming up to the road again and look I'm on a hard corner so that's why I keep crossing over it I'm going straight but it's not Geez, I'm really surprised that in there I didn't see more signs well I'm heading back and uh, again the option up Just don't forget I went up 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 over and down or cut back through all that into the Sun I'm going for the Sun I'm glad you guys have stayed tuned on this uh, ramble Lisa out on the west coast uh, always comments how she enjoys a good ramble with Charlie so I may start using that word from now on because I really appreciate the comments all right as Paul said I'll follow the Sun this ought to be interesting Oh, you guys want to go too? just to give you a perspective it's about five in the afternoon and 39 degrees the weather is not good but it's not bad it's just okay I'm hoping and guessing that if I just keep on that line you can hear the main road way way down that way that's gonna dump me where I parked and that I hope I don't dump out too far down that river because that means I'll have to make it up that trail which was not looking too inviting at least in these conditions bushwhacking is definitely the way to go yeah it's a bit brutal out here and the snow is a lot deeper feet are getting wet but I'm seeing the land I'm seeing things that I'm not gonna see if I take that cut road or that cut trail I have no idea where I am and I like that that's part of it all I like ending up at a spot like this where I don't know I know I came from up there through all that and I think I'm heading in the right direction Sun is still in front of me I am a bit surprised that I haven't seen more signs from 
17 and 18 hundreds uh, outside of those walls and there's definitely a change of properties with that amount of space it's clear what the triple C did taking out those rock walls cutting all that timber I guess it's gonna take another ramble another day an extended one I basically what I need to do is start at the top and go all the way down to where that dumps out and I know by vehicle it's a 10 minute drive so it's pretty far of a walk either way I'm gonna keep hiking and check in with you in a bit and hopefully we end up back where we started can you guys see that right little embankment looks like a road scan my head over this way and we have found a relic look at this ah oh, it's a milk jug but it's it's frozen to the ground I'm not gonna pull it I don't want to break it and there's actually a name tag still on it I'll let her be so obviously I'm not gonna try to pull that out and break it up any more than it is but that is an excellent find old fuel can yeah, I have a feeling I'm actually creeping back up towards where the base camp was. Well, I still don't know exactly where I am in the park, but I'm here. Awesome little hike. Got to see some layers of time and history between, you know, colonial days, right up through the Great Depression, to now. At least from where I stand here, there's several trails going out, and as long as I keep following that sun, <laughs> I should be all right. Whoa! Wow, that ain't much of a bridge. Anyways, bingo, right on the money. I landed exactly where I wanted to, below that hill that I went up in the beginning. My opening shot was about... 40 feet over there compass brain is real I wonder if it's something that you can actually learn because I know for myself and some of the other guys in the group uh, we just have it you go out and tell you when I started I went at least a half a mile to the south and then when we got on that triple C area road I just started cutting across to a certain point and then decided I wanted to cut straight back and that's when we did the entire bushwhacking segment and I literally dropped out exactly where I wanted to be without knowing where I was no GPS nothing so I appreciate you all joining me I hope you're enjoying not Thursday I appreciate you subscribing commenting and all that stuff it's gonna be an awesome year we're gonna have a blast we're gonna do a lot of things like this exploring relic hunting just curiosity things and I'm going home because now I'm hungry, I need coffee, and I'm happy. So, see you soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. Oh, before I check out, the side note is, yes, I did do all that space and time, and I don't know how long the video is, but I was gone two hours and 13 minutes. So, it had to be... It had to be four miles. You take in all the consideration of the time and then stopping, edit, filming. Either way, just perspective. All right, see ya.